Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Captain Comic. Today we're having a look at the sequel. Now, I have played a little bit of this before, but I didn't play it as a child because I didn't have it back then. And I've only had a little look at the beginning recently just to make sure I could record it and it was all working properly. So I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. For example, I didn't know where that can of Blast Ola Cola was. It was just fortunate that I happened to find it. Now, the layout of this game is uh, a lot less straightforward than the previous one. A lot of times you're going to say that I just don't know where I'm supposed to be going because there's a lot of um, verticality to it as well as the um, ability to go both directions. And there are a lot of places that you can't really get to very easily. You have to figure out how to get there. Whereas the challenge in the first one is mostly with, you know, actually jumping over the pits and avoiding the enemies, in this one there's also an element of exploration. You can't get through the game without figuring out where you're supposed to go. I also find a lot of the challenge in this one comes from the fact that I can't see the enemies very well. Those two that just hit me there. I didn't actually realize were enemies because they look like flowers and there's all these other flowers around that are not dangerous. Even these moving ones, I often don't see them against the green background. See, that looks like a dead end to me. It turns out it's probably not, but I didn't realize until I fell in it just then that you could actually go in the water. I assumed the water would just be an automatic death. I will give credit to the enemies in these underwater sections. Some of them are uh, pretty neat, like the starfish you saw briefly there. But on the other hand, these passages that are just barely big enough for comic to get through are a real pain. So, you know, there there's some good, but more bad in my view. And it's often difficult to tell whether you're actually about to be hit by something or not, because they can sort of just graze you and it still counts. I do like the starfish though. That's a good enemy. Also, as you can see, you can swim straight through these blue crates, which I don't really understand. Like, it's very difficult in this game to tell what is scenery, what is platform, and what is a bad guy. Like, those green things you might think would have to be avoided, but no, they're safe. Whereas these green things are dangerous enemies. That sound effect is terrible. And these enemies are annoying because, well, we don't have a corkscrew. There were enemies like this in the first game, but they were literally in the level where you get the corkscrew, and if there's a corkscrew around here, I can't see it. Or 
Also, anyone who's played this game before is going to be just yelling at their monitor right now because I don't need to go back all this way. But I didn't realize that door was a door. You'll see it later, I do actually eventually figure it out. But yeah, it looks like a window. I didn't think to try going through it. that was worthwhile. Looked like I was getting the hang of it there for a minute, but no, that was just luck that I hit those three fish in a row. And now I've got the key, but I won't figure out what to do with it for some time yet. And I never figure out what these treasure chests are for. They're all over the place, and I couldn't find a way to open them, or to move them or interact with them in any way. These enemies are particularly obnoxious, I thought. Oh, I found my first five. I don't know what fives are either. I picked up a lot of these numbers and I don't know what they do or what they're for. Now, some people may criticize me for not reading the instructions and it's true, I didn't look to see if there are any instructions, but you know, a game this simple, I don't feel like you should have to. Now I skipped about five minutes of wandering around pointlessly there, so... Uh, yeah, you're welcome for that. And there, I just totally by accident figured out that you can go through waterfalls. I had no idea you could do that. I'd been spending a lot of time looking for the way to go next, and there it is. Which unfortunately means we're back underwater again, and I do not like the underwater segments. I don't like anything in this game really, but the underwater segments particularly. get more of these numbers. I don't know what they're for. They don't seem to do anything. But it's keeping track of them. And so this is just tedious. Why even bother with this? And it's annoying that you can't go vertical and get up in that gap there. 
doesn't actually lead anywhere, but it seems like it should. Now, this is a pointless trap, just a waste of time. I'll skip getting back here because we didn't need to see that again. And another really tedious bit. You basically have to be right on the edge to make these jumps and I fail them just over and over again. And it's not like it's dangerous, you don't get penalised for failing it. You just have to waste a bit of time. But finally, it's all worth it because I made it all the way up here. And finally, I can reach this door, which I don't have the right key to open. It was a complete waste of time. I also never figured out which waterfalls you can actually go through and which you can't, so at several points you're going to see me just stopping in front of a waterfall and nothing happens, and yeah, that's just because I don't know if you can go through it or not. Like here. Turns out that one's not a door. This one is. But it's just got one of these mystery chests in it. What do you do with these? No door there. another door and it just leads to another room full of chests. Obviously they gotta have some sort of significance but I can't figure out what it is. You can't push them, you can't shoot them, you can't open them. What are they for? And here's where I finally figure out this door, which takes me back to this place, which is pointless because I've already been here. I think that door must be just there to, uh, so you can avoid backtracking. I don't think it serves any other purpose. I try fiddling with some of these switches and computers or whatever they are, but of course they don't do anything. I really have no idea where I'm going at this point. I'm just going back to... Oh, what the hell was that? There's invisible blocks and... Again, I don't know why. What did that do? What... How does this help? That block doesn't let me reach anything I need to get to. There are no other blocks I can access from here. What's that about? And so that's the end of that. I will never play this game again. I like the first one, but this one is just garbage. 
And why does it ask me to save the game after I've just died? That makes no sense. Anyway, next time we'll have a look at uh, the world of Captain Comic modding.